hey guys welcome back to my channel today we'll be talking about how to deal with diabetes but first of all you have to know what diabetes is so what is diabetes diabetes is a situation whereby your body cannot regulate its blood sugar level now in another way it simply means that diabetes can happen if your pancreas is not producing enough insulin which is the case of a type 1 diabetes okay it can also happen if the cells of your body are aging and they cannot absorb the insulin that your pancreas produce or if you have too much fat depot in your body in such a way that this fat is preventing your cells from absorbing the insulin produced by your pancreas now i know this is a little bit uh, deep for a layman but so you understand very well normally if you eat food this food is normally being converted from one form to another until it reaches the stage of sugar in your blood. Now, this sugar cannot stay there like that. So you need insulin to convert this sugar into energy. And this insulin comes from your pancreas. Insulin helps remove the sugar in your blood and transform it into a different form. When the insulin converts the sugar in your blood to energy, you are good, you are very active, you can do everything you want. Now, if the insulin converts the energy and you are not using this energy, you are not active in your normal daily activities, the energy that is in your blood cannot stay there also like that. It will need to be converted into fat depot. That is why you will see people who are not very active in their life, they will look fleshy, they will have more fat in them than people who are very active. It's because the insulin convert the sugar in your blood to energy but then you are not using this energy when you are not using this energy it will be converted to fat and you will grow fat but if you are fat and you decide to cut down what you have to do is you do more sports you try as much to combust the fat that is in your body take for example if you are doing a lot of sport you need energy Maybe the food you have eaten is not enough because most people who do sport, they don't just eat anyhow. They eat little quantities of food and the right food, of course. So they eat healthy food. They don't need fat in their body. Now, if you are still very active and you are not eating a lot of food that will produce fat in your body, what happened? The fat depot that is in your body would be converted back to energy for you to use to continue doing your sport or whatever you are doing even when you are sleeping you are still um, using energy your brain is at rest when you are sleeping but it is functioning your brain is not dead so just by breathing you need energy your brain needs energy all the time so that is why um normally people who have diabetes they always ask them to do sports they should be active in their normal daily life so that it will help to regulate this sugar it is a whole process okay that's that is just to explain to you what diabetes is so there are two types you have type one which is normally because your pancreas is not producing um, enough insulin that will do this function i just told you and type 2 diabetes is when your pancreas actually produces a, a insulin but then your body or the cells of your, your body they are aging and they cannot absorb the insulin that has been produced by your pancreas and your cells might not be aging say a young person will also have type 2 diabetes that is usually because the person is fat because when you are fat the fat depot will prevent your cells from absorbing insulin that will convert you know the sugar in your blood to energy so those are the two types of diabetes type 1 and type 2 now what you have to do is you have to learn how to know what to eat, when to eat, and how to eat. Because since diabetes is a condition that has to do with your food, the energy and the sugar we are talking about, it comes from the food you eat. So your food is a very vital part of the treatment of diabetes. Diabetes does not have a cure. It rather has a treatment. And you cannot have an effective treatment without knowing about the kind of food you eat and why you are eating them at what time you are eating them all those things you need to know so you need to have a very good diet plan 
and your lifestyle it matters a lot it is as good as your medication or the it can be tablet for type 2 di uh, diabetic patient it can be insulin for type 1 di uh, diabetic patient even though there are some type 2 diabetic patient who use insulin also if they realize that the tablet for example metformin is not working well they will give you insulin but the insulin they are using is not the same with the kind of insulin type 1 diabetic patient they use that is why another very important thing is you should never use the medication of another person it is not good the fact that i have diabetes does not mean that if you you are diagnosed of diabetes today you can start using my medication it does not go like that first of all if you are sick go to the hospital let a diagnosis be done from your test result and everything they will know exactly the kind of problem you have and they will give you medications that are targeted for that problem never use the medication of another person good so guys this video was just to give you an insight into what diabetes is i mean to the understanding of a layman and i hope i really explain things as simple as possible now um i think my next video is going to be about um a, a diet plan and the lifestyle that you have to live as you can see here am I with my kids. We are looking very okay, even though I'm diabetic. So this is not a condition that will make you panic, okay? Accept it and come right with me. Let's go through this journey. So guys, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye-bye.